Have you heard of the M5 Multitronic unit? Dr. Richard Daystrom's device, isn't it? Tell me about that. The most ambitious computer complex ever created. Its purpose is to correlate all computer activity aboard a starship to provide the ultimate in vessel operation and control. How do you know so much about it, Commander? I hold an A7 computer expert classification, Commodore. If the M5 works under actual conditions as well as it has under simulated tests, it will mean a revolution in space technology. When your crew has been removed, the ship's engineering section will be modified to contain the computer. Why remove my crew? They're not needed. All you have to do is sit back and let the machine do the work. The M5 computer has been installed on board ship and we have left the space station for test maneuvers. I don't like it, Jim. A vessel this size cannot be run by one computer. We are attempting to prove that it can run this ship more efficiently than man. Maybe you're trying to prove that, Spock, but don't count me in on it. M5 is ready to take control of the ship. Total control? That is what it was designed for, Captain. Did you see the love light in Spock's eyes? The right computer finally came along. I think that thing is wrong. Well, I think it's wrong, too, replacing men with mindless machines. I'm getting a red alert right here. That thing is dangerous. Only a fool would stand in the way of progress, if this is progress. Am I afraid of losing command to a computer? M5 has performed admirably so far. Mr. Chekhov could have done that with their eyes closed. Yes, but you see, the idea is they didn't have to do it. I'm forced to agree with Dr. Daystrom. His computer could have brought us here as easily as the navigator. You seem to enjoy trusting yourself to the computer, Mr. Spock. I'm merely gratified to see Dr. Daystrom's new unit execute everything required of it in such a highly efficient manner. M5 is another distinguished triumph for his career. But it can't make a value judgment. It has an intuition. It can't think. Can't you understand? The Multitronic unit is a revolution in computer science. I've located the source of the power shutdowns. It's the M5 unit, sir. That thing's turning off systems all over the ship. Fantastic machine, the M5. No off switch. That thing is trying to tell us nothing has happened. Disengage this computer now. There appears to be some defect in the control panel. There certainly does. Your brilliant young computer just destroyed an ore freighter. In fact, it went out of its way to destroy an ore freighter. All right, Daisy, let's turn this thing off. I would say, Captain, that M5 is not only capable of taking care of the ship, it is also capable of taking care of itself. You mean it's not going to let any of us turn off? The M5 multitronic unit has taken over total control of the Enterprise. All right, Doctor, you built this thing. How do you propose to turn it off? I can't. Captain, I suggest we disconnect it at the source. That thing murdered one of my crewmen, and now you tell me you can't turn it off? The computer now controls all helm, navigation, and engineering functions. And communications and fire control. The M5 itself has not behaved logically. M5 is growing, learning. Learning to kill. To defend itself. It exceeds the sum of what it was taught. Thinks independently. Now, that thing is a danger to all of us. Now, find some way to shut it off. Now he's got you talking about that machine like a personality. You see, one of the arguments against computers controlling ships was that they couldn't think like men. I've developed a method of impressing human engrams upon the computer circuits. The relays are not unlike the synapse of the brain. M5 thinks, Captain. There's your murder charge. Deliberate, calculated, that thing is killing men and women. Four starships, 1,600 men and women. You misunderstood. I really don't know how to get to the M5, Kirk. I really do not know. I am most impressed with the technology, Captain. M5 will kill them to survive. Every living thing wants to survive, Captain. Get down to engineering. Pull out every hookup that makes M5 run. Pull out the plug, Spock. 